Hey, what's going on, everybody? Jake the Happy Snake here, and welcome to episode 8 of Jake Wants to Be a Super Millionaire. Last time, I walked away on the 10th question with $50,000. That brought my overall total to $1,610,000. So, it's a new week. It's time to get started with the 8th game of the series. So here we go. Let's get to it. Here's the first question for $1,000. The Eiffel Tower is located in what country? France, Germany, Spain, England. Uh, well, that's going to be France. Okay. It's $1,000. Here's the $2,000 question. A peacock is the symbol for what television network? ABC, NBC, CBS, Fox. <sighs> um, I'm pretty sure it's NBC. So I'll go B. Final answer. Okay. $2,000. Let's see the $3,000 question. Botany is a field of science that deals with what? Animals, planets, plants, nuclear reactions. Botany is the study of plants. So, C, final answer. Okay. $3,000. Here it is now for $4,000. What is the chemical symbol for table salt? FEO. HCl NaOH NaCl uh, That's going to be D NaCl final answer. Okay. $4000 here we go the first safety net level of $5000. If someone is intelligent they are said to be as wise as a what? Horse, owl, fish, dog. That is owl. B final answer. There we go. $5,000 guaranteed. Very nice. Very nice indeed. All right. Let's move on now to the $10,000 question. Benjamin Netanyahu was a prime minister of what country? England, India, Israel, Iran. Uh, Benjamin Netanyahu. Yeah, he was the prime minister of Israel. So I'll go C. Final answer. Okay, good, very good. $10,000? <sighs> okay, let's see the $20,000 question. What is the probability of rolling a 12 with a pair of six-sided dice? One-third, one-sixth, one-twelfth, one out of 36. Um, well, I think it would be one one out of thirty six. So, hmm. I'm going to ask the audience just to be on the safe side. I think it is one out of thirty six. 70% say it's D. Okay, D, final answer. Yay, just wasted a lifeline. It's okay, at least I'm still in the game. Thanks, guys. Thank you very much. That's $20,000. Okay, let's see the $30,000 question. World War II officially started in what year? 1931, 1937, 1939, 1945. Okay, uh, it's definitely not 1945. I'm pretty sure it was 1939. And I would like to play it safe in 50-50, but to make up for the last question, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go with my gut and say C, 1939, final answer. Yes! Yes! Okay, there we go. $30,000. We still have two lifelines, 50-50 and phone a friend. Okay. Here we go. Question nine for $50,000. What Connecticut city is nicknamed the Brass City? Hartford, Waterbury, New Haven, Bridgeport. The first ever million dollar winner on the US version of Millionaire, John Carpenter, he was from Hamden, Connecticut. 
Alright, I'd like to call him. <laughs> I'd like to call him in this question, because I think he would know this for sure. Um, I don't know this at all, so I'd like to phone a friend. So I'm gonna phone a friend. Hopefully the person I'm calling is John Carpenter. That would be very nice. I've heard I've heard of New Haven. I've heard of Hartford. I think I've heard of Bridgeport. C New Haven. How sure are you? How sure are you? Phone a friend is forty two percent. Gosh. That's not very strong. Well, it's 50 50. Oh, for crying out loud. Okay. I'm going to say, of course. I'm glad I did that because now I know it's wrong, but now I don't know which one to choose. Waterbury, final answer. Oh my goodness. Okay. $50,000. Oh my gosh, dude. All right, we have no more lifelines, but we're going for 100,000. If I can get this right, then I'll get the other two, I'll get the, the, the lifelines four and five. Here we go for $100,000. On The Simpsons, what is Mr. Burns' first name? Montgomery, Charles, William, Abraham. Charles Burns, William Burns. I don't know this. I won 50,000 last week. Is it worth a gamble? If I like if I get it right, it's a it's $100,000 guaranteed plus two lifelines. But if I get it wrong, I lose 45,000 drop all the way down to 5,000. I think I'm gonna go for it. I'm probably gonna regret that. Um, I'm gonna say Charles, because that's my middle name, so. If, it, if it's right, then it's luck. B, Charles, final answer. Yeah, that's right, I'm going for it. Oh my gosh! That, that is pure luck. That just happened, that, that's seriously luck. I should not have gotten that right. I just got super lucky. <clears throat> that, that, that would make the most sense, honestly. Charles Burns. Wow. I actually can't believe that. All right, we have no lifelines. Actually, no, that's not true. We have two. We have two more lifelines because. We are in the next dimension of the game. So we are guaranteed $100,000. We have now earned the three wise men lifeline and the double dip lifeline. So, this can only get better. I'm gonna be taking a free shot at a half million dollars. I'm ready to do that. Five away from 10 million, here we go. Question 11 for 500,000. I can't believe that we're here. I seriously thought I'm, that I was gonna get that last question wrong. That was super lucky. Okay, $500,000 question, here we go. Let's see what it is. Which of the following years was not traveled to in the Back to the Future movie trilogy? 1885, 1955, 1985, 2025. No. I have not seen any of any of the Back to the Future movies. It's actually it is a movie series that I would be interested in watching, and now I really wish I have. Seriously. Um. I feel like 
85 would not be one. Two thousand twenty five. I thought twenty fifteen was a year. Fifty five. Why do I feel like fifty five was a year? Why do I feel like I I actually might be able to figure it out when I haven't seen it in the movies? I I, I don't think I'm gonna be able to. I'm gonna have to use a lifeline, but the question is, which one do I use? See, I could do what I did last time, and I could three wise men, and then double dip. But it would be nice to have a lifeline on the million dollar question. But if I three if I use the three wise men the, if I use the three wise men lifeline, then I would have the double dip on the million dollar question. Yeah, I'd be like that. Be pretty much be doing exactly what Robert Essig did. Um. I think I'm going to use the double dip. Try to save one lifeline. Here we go. Okay. 1885 seems like... I Yeah, I feel like that, that would be a good, good guess. If it's not 1885, then I don't know what my second guess would be. Maybe 2025. That's next year. Oh my gosh. Um, I think I'm going to make 1885 my first answer. A. Final answer. Ah, dang it. Okay. What's my second answer going to be? Were they already in 18 were they already in 1985? They traveled to 2015 cuz I remember in 2015 there was a thing about that. I think, right? I remember hearing about that. Kind of like how this year, August 30th was the same time that was the same day as when Past Tense Part 1 was uh, was based in the DS9 episode. Okay. Um, I'm gonna, I'm. I think I'm gonna go with 2025. Oh my gosh! I really hope this is right. D. Final answer. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was sort of an educated guess because I thought that you traveled to to 55 and 85. <coughs> was that right around the time the movies came out? That is crazy that I just got that right. And we still have a lifeline. Wow. Wow. That's unbelievable. Okay. Four away from 10 million. We still have the three wise men lifeline. This is actually unreal. Okay, guys. We're going to seven figures right now. Question 12 is up next for a million dollars. Oh my gosh. Here we go. Million dollar question. In 1663, London imposed a tax on what household item? Stoves, toilets, fireplaces, windows. Right off the bat, I'm thinking stoves or fireplaces. Now I kind of wish I had the double dip. Uh, I guess I'll use the three wise men, but are they going to for sure know it? Probably not. All right, let's, let's ask the three wise men and see what they think. They are thinking. They are thinking. What do they think? We think it is C or D. <sighs> like, we are not very sure. I was thinking fireplaces when I first saw the question. Oh 
man. It would be a $400,000 risk. I honestly, I honestly kind of want to go for it. My first guess was, at first I was thinking stoves, and then I was kind of thinking fireplaces. Toilets, no. Windows, I don't think. Fireplaces really is what I'm thinking. I used to live in a house that had a fireplace. It was awesome. Uh, guys, man. Guys, I really... I don't think I should go for it because that's a $400,000 risk. I am actually honestly considering going for it. Mm-mm. This is so risky. This is so risky. Would I be okay with losing four hundred thousand dollars? I mean, that's happened to me several times. It, like, there's been several times in the in the main series that I've lost four hundred sixty-eight thousand. Hundred thousand is still pretty good. I would love to get the million again. I think I'm gonna. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do it. <laughs> oh my gosh! Like considering the, the amount of money that I would be risking later on in the game, four hundred thousand is really nothing. So, <laughs> I really. Fireplace is what I'm thinking it is. I'm just gonna go ahead. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go for the million. Let's do it. C fireplaces is my final answer. Oh my gosh. I just did that. <gasps> oh my gosh! <laughs> That just happened. <laughs> One million dollars. Normally, this would be the end of the game, but not in this case. This is the second time I've won this in the in this series. A million dollars. We're three away from ten million. No lifelines. There's no way I'm gonna do it, but we're gonna look at the two and a half million dollar question. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. I can't believe I just got that right. That was a huge risk. That one made, fireplaces made the most sense to me. Made the most sense. Okay, guys, we just won a million dollars. This next question is for two and a half million. This will be the second time in the series I will, I've seen this question. I am ready to do it. Here we go. Question 13. For 2.5 million dollars, Pine Castle Records distributes what type of music? Bluegrass. Gospel, Swing, Celtic. I don't know this at all. Pine Castle Records. Oh, I w really wish I knew this because I would love to go for it. I 
I have no reason to go for it. I, I would be risking nine hundred thousand dollars. I've got a million dollars right now. Man, but winning 2.5 would be amazing. How am I supposed to get past this? Swing. I just don't know. Pine, the word pine wouldn't have anything to do with grass, would it? No, there's no way. I'm not, I, there's no way I'm thinking about that correctly. Man, part of me actually really wants to go for it, but the problem is, is that I have literally no idea on this. Would I be okay? Would I be okay with losing $900,000? I, I This is what I have to do. In order for me to want to go for it, I have to talk myself into being okay with losing 900 grand, which is just ridiculous. To lose that much is absolutely ridiculous. Having a one the million, that's amazing. To have a million dollars, that's amazing. But here's the thing. I've won the million once already in the series. Now, this, I may never get a chance. I may never get a chance to win a million again in the series. This, you know, for all I know. Um, but I may also never get a chance to go for two and a half million again. If I lose $900,000, how am I going to feel? I'm going to feel pretty bad. I just don't know how else I'm going to get to the... I just don't know how else I'm going to get... Like, I got to take a risk. If I want to get... If I want to get millions and millions of dollars, I got to take a risk. But the thing is, the risk is so big. It's such a great risk. 900000 Guys, I'm really considering going for it. I've never lost that much money in any episode of Jake Wants to Be a Millionaire. In the main series. Yeah, if I get it wrong, it's $900,000, but if I get it right, it's a $1.5 million gain. So, if I press fi uh, if I press a final an if I press one and choose final answer, then that means the million dollars is gone. It's either going to be 2 and a half million or 100,000. I think I'm going to say bluegrass. This is crazy to do this this is actually this is like downright this should be illegal to go for this when i really have no idea i shouldn't be i should not be allowed to do this but it's my game it's my million dollars to risk i am going to do this <laughs> I'm going to say a bluegrass. I'm going for two and a half. I'm going for the two and a half million. Oh my gosh, why am I doing this? 
I'm gonna make A my final answer. Oh my gosh, I just did that! What just happened? <laughs> I just guessed at the two and a half million dollar question and I got it right. I am so shocked right now. I... I was fully expecting that to be wrong. Oh my gosh. Dude. This this might top it this might this could top any episode in the main series. I'm not even kidding. I've never won this much ever in one episode. I mean obviously the money tree is never this big, but I just can't I cannot believe that. Two and a half million dollars. Dude, that is absolutely wild. Oh, man. The game's not even over yet. <laughs> the game's not over yet. <sighs> that is crazy. Well, I can... I can say right now... There's pretty much no way I'm going to take a risk in the next question unless I actually know the right answer. We're two away from 10 million. This is unbelievable. I can't believe I just got that right. Ladies and gentlemen, question 14 is up next. We just won $2.5 million. That's crazy. Question 14. We are now playing for $5 million. This is... I, I, wow. I, I'm, I don't even know what to say. That was so lucky. <sighs> okay. Here we go. Here is the next question for five million dollars. The shortest serving pope, Pope Urban the Seventh, served for how long? Three days, five days, thirteen days, fifteen days. My gosh, I just can't believe we're at, I can't believe I'm at this question. We are looking at the five million dollar question right now. I really wish I knew this. But <laughs> I mean, I thought I would go out. I, I thought I would. I was, I was gonna lose on the hundred thousand dollar question. This this is a no brainer. I I, I have to walk away. Two point five million dollars. I I'm gonna. I, yeah, I did. It's a no-brainer. I would say five days. Let's take the money. It was thirteen days. Okay. Yeah, that would have been a four. That would have been a a two point four million dollar risk. So I'm glad that I did that. Two and a half million. I. St what? The million and especially two and a half million dollar questions we're like sort of well like we're, we're kind of lucky honestly especially the two and a half million dollar question that is 
absolutely unbelievable. One of the greatest moments in the history of any series of Jake Wants to Be a Millionaire. That might top any moment from Jake Wants to Be a Millionaire, seriously. Two and a half million dollars. Unbelievable. That is added to my overall total. That's way more than I've won in all the other episodes combined. $2.5 million brings my overall total to $4,110,000. I completely jumped the $3 million mark. Wow. As far as I know, that's ever happened in the main series. That's crazy. Guys, one of the greatest episodes ever uh, of any millionaire uh, series that I've done. That's it for today, guys. I will see you all next time on Jake Wants to Be a Millionaire. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time on Jake Wants to Be a Super Millionaire. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Thanks, guys, for watching. Really appreciate it. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.